This is Freddie K. Myers with RWF Rock and Wrestling Federation and UCW Ultimate Championship Wrestling, and you are watching Realistic Vision. Everybody now! Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here today to fish with some gulp minnows under a float to see if we can catch some big spring bluegill. Maybe even a crappie, maybe even a bass. Let's see what happens. There we go. We're fishing it on a little jig head under a float. Let's see if we can get any attention. Fish. Fish on. What do we have? Looks like a bluegill. There we go. First fish of the day right here. Nice big jumbo bluegill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. We got a nice just about 8 inch, maybe a hair under 8 inch bluegill here. Good size, great color. Went for that gulp minnow on a jig head under a float. Let's let this beautiful fish go. My rig still looks good. I got this little jig head from iFish. He told me to test it out. So far, one fish. Let's keep going. Oh, I had a bite and missed them. Do I still have my minnow? I do, but look at this. They bit the tail off. That fish just grabbed the tail and yanked it right off of there. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Got him. Another nice bluegill. Wow, that's another good one. Two jumbos now. We're getting the big bluegill out here. Big springtime bluegill. This one's even bigger than that last one. Don't do it. Wow, look at that. That is a nice, nice bluegill. Even bigger than that last one. This one's getting close to eight and a half inches. Gorgeous fish. Let's let it go. Two nice big bluegill so far. That's what I came for. Got him. Another big bluegill. I can feel a fight on this. Look at that thrashing. Woo! Another jumbo. Awesome. Awesome colors on this fish. He wants to jump. Lay down. The green. I don't know if you can see it how I see it. Great colors, especially with my sunglasses on. It takes the glare off the fish. Awesome, awesome fish right here. 
Yeah, three jumbos in a row. My minnow's getting a little bit torn up. We're going to see if we can hook it on a little bit better. And get back out there for another big bluegill. Got him. Got him. Holy cow. Who needs bass when you're catching bluegills like this? Another jumbo. Wow, this is the biggest one yet. Look at that. That is a great looking bluegill. Perfect eater size too. If you wanted to catch a big bluegill to eat, now might be the time. Look at that thing. I'm Cousin Condry, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. <sighs> yeah, look at those bluegills are so big. They leave a dust cloud when you let them go. Awesome, awesome fish so far. So I'm just casting it out there. Fish, I'm just casting it out there, letting it sit a little while, and then giving it a few twitches here and there. And these beefy bluegill are eating it up. Another gorgeous fish here. Amazing, amazing bluegill here. A little bit smaller than those last few, but still a great eater size and a blast to catch. Wow. Wow. That goose came flying from behind me. He was like 12 feet away. Now they're fighting over there. Goose fight. Got him. That feels like a good one. That feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Look at him go. Awesome. Awesome. Another jumbo, jumbo bluegill. Awesome fish here. Look at the size of this thing. Another eight eight and a half inch bluegill, but so tall and beefy. Look at this thing. I'd already have enough for a meal if I was hungry, but we're going to let him go. And today's rig is real simple. We got a spinning combo here with six pound test mono, a small cigar shaped weighted float, and that little jig head with a gulp minnow. Doing great. See if we can find another fish. Yes. Okay, let me see. Keep it realistic. Got him. Got him. He's going for the drain. I gotta get over here. Oh my! Now that's the biggest bluegill of the day right here. Check out this slobber knocker of a bluegill. You know they're big when they get this sloped forehead like that. Man, I want a picture with this one. Now that is a nice bluegill. Let's let him go. Still got my minnow on there, and we're going to go for another one.
I was wondering, should I go bass fishing? Should I go bluegill fishing? I'm glad I chose bluegill because these fish are amazing today. Come on, just one more. Got him. Last fish of the day right here. Oh, came off. Not the last fish of the day. Still got my minnow though. We're gonna go for another one. There's a bite. Got him. This is the last fish of the day. Here we go. Another nice big bluegill. Holy cow. These are amazing bluegill today. Yes. Yes. Check out that mother of a bluegill. Now that is a great bluegill. I want to. And he just jumped out of my. There he goes. Oh, man. He wanted to go, and he did. Well, that's it. Amazing bluegill fishing today. Amazing. Well, that's it for today. Those bluegill were amazing. I was catching big bluegill on a little jig head with a gulp minnow under a float. It's really as simple as that. They were all keepers. They were all plump, juicy, eater-sized bluegill. But today, we're letting them go. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.